Hey there, uh, it's Robbie. Thought I'd make a quick video on the subject of copy and the best way that I found to write great marketing materials and sales materials in your emails and in your sales pages. Now this is a subject that I've had a lot of problems with. It took me many, many years to find how to actually do copy well. And I would always sit down and either not know what to write or write things that were very kind of chaotic and congealed. It wasn't very clear what the goal was and the marketing uh, content was just not very good. So I actually learned a very interesting framework of how to write proper copy that when I learned it, actually made it super simple where I could sit down and in about 30 minutes to an hour, write a very, very good marketing material and not really have problems with it. So I, would, I, would, I don't get any more writer's block and just in general, the, the content is very exciting for me. I really get the, the sense that I like what I'm writing. So this video is pre pretty much meant for people who have problems sitting down and writing proper marketing material or think that it's boring or that it's a chore. So this will teach you how to do it very, very easily. So you only need to answer two questions in order to write really, really good marketing materials. The first question is uh, basically, what is the, the narrative uh, for what I'm writing? Which means uh, the narrative meaning what's the story that I'm trying to tell behind the scenes. So often we start writing something, but we're not sure what the actual underlying narrative is. And the reason we need a narrative is because if people think in stories, they think in, in big overlying narratives. That's why books like Harry Potter are very, very successful. It's because they have a lot of mythical narratives built into them underlying the actual story. So for example, when you hear uh, on CNN, uh, this guy was, this black guy was attacked and uh, this white supremacist uh, uh, are on the rise and all these stories, they're actually trying to kind of push out a narrative which says America is a racist place. So there's the story, there's what we were saying on the surface, and then there's the underlying narrative they were trying to like build up. And that narrative is very important because that's what actually drives people to take action. For example, I could also tell you a narrative that uh, e-commerce is not working anymore and that people are, are just not making the, the results that they used to get from e-commerce. Now I could just give you some statistics but that would not really uh, that would not really touch your emotional side. That would only touch your logical part. But if I actually start telling you a story, a narrative about a guy who opened up his own e-commerce shop, and at the beginning he made a lot of money, and then gradually he started seeing his profits go down. The more I kind of pull you into a narrative, uh, the more you'll actually uh, be drawn in to read. And the way you want to write is where everything you write, every single piece of content in your video, in your email, is always pushing into a certain narrative. So you only write things that promote that narrative and you double down on them and you redact, you take out any part of the email or the video that doesn't uh, increase, it doesn't make the narrative stronger. Now the second thing you want to know before you even start writing, and if you don't know these, don't start writing, is what is my goal? But not just uh, what's my like sort of cool goal, what's my actual uh, uh, ultimate goal for this piece of content? So for example, in this video, there is no specific goal other than just letting you know something. But if there was a goal, for example, click here or, or I want you to buy something, then what I would do is I would tailor the narrative to the goal. So I would have a narrative. Uh, for example, the narrative might be, again, uh, America is a very racist place. And the goal might be vote Democrat. So America is a racist place. I'm gonna give you a lot of just hit you with a lot of different angle to make you really buy into that narrative. And then when you fully bought into the narrative, the goal, the, the action I want you to take becomes an afterthought. So if America is for certain an, uh, a very racist place uh, and the Democrats are the solution, then the obvious answer would be to vote Democrat. Just the same as if I can convince you of the narrative that the e-commerce market is not working, that people are losing their income, then the next logical conclusion would be the action that I want you to take. And the funny thing is, it doesn't really matter what actions I want you to take, I can fit 
multiple actions to the same narrative. So I could say, again, the e-commerce is dying, you can't stay in it anymore, so you have to go to stock market trading, or you have to go to uh, building your own business. There's basically an infinite amount of things that I can uh, direct you to from the narrative, but there has to be a narrative. If there's no narrative, then there's no meat in it. There's no interesting part to what you're writing and it's not very clear what we're doing. So when you have a narrative and you have a goal, what happens is you basically have a, a specific target that you're trying to hit and then you have a, a straight line of how you're gonna get it. And the only thing you need to do is build the narrative from the beginning to the end point where you even go past the, this part where it makes sense already at the, about 70% of your email it already makes sense that you should make the decision. So you don't even need to finish the email or the video to already feel like, okay, this goal, this action just makes sense that I should take it. And all you're doing is setting up kind of like the rails with here's a story uh, that promotes the narrative. Here's an example that promotes the narrative. Here's statistics that promote the narrative. And just you just keep building it through repetition and through different examples until you hit your goal. And that's how you write really good content very easily. Even if you're like me and you don't really like to write, this is how you actually focus your mind. So there's no such thing as a writer's block. There's only a lack of clarity. And when you have an answer to those two questions, what is the narrative I'm trying to write? And what goal, what like final action am I trying to get this user to take? Then it's very easy to start writing because then you already know where you're trying to get and what's the story behind it. So now all you need to do is kind of fill in the details. Where the lack of uh, writing ability comes from, or the lack of, uh, of, of clarity, or the lack of, uh, the, the, basically the writer's block, where it comes from is when you don't really know where you're aiming at, or what's the underlying story to get there. Because then, instead of filling out the details, you have to like find yourself in a huge room and then it doesn't make sense. So this was my tip for today. Uh, I haven't made a, made a video in about six months and the goal is to kind of reinvigorate the channel. So if you like this kind of content, um, I believe you're gonna start seeing more and more. And uh, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think, if it helped you. And if it did, just click like and comment. I would be very happy. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.